Hey guys, Jessica Damu here with another Army Man toy review, and today I'm reviewing the Iwo Jima large set from BMC Toys. This is a sponsored review, so I've been giving it for free in exchange for a review, and there's a link for it down below in the more info area if you like it. It's a huge set, 60 plus pieces. There's 24 United States Marines in this olive drab. There's 6 U.S. Marines raising the flag, and we're going to cover that one. Specifically, they should be this color, but uh, my one that was for this set got kidnapped by a two-year-old. So I'm substituting the one from the smaller set. 24 Imperial Japanese Troops, Amphibious Assault Amtrak, M4 Sherman Tank, American Flag with Base, Japanese Flag with Base, Vehicle and bunker stickers that, you know, this whole mountain here is full of bunkers and awesome, cool stuff. It's very neat. There's some rocks. Well, these are some of the major things that stick out. It comes in this beautiful, beautiful box that has information about Iwo Jima on it. So just taking a look at this you can see that there's all kinds of marines here these are specifically marines that's what's so exciting about it and there's 12 different poses for our marines you know along with the ones raising the flag you can see here is our flamethrower guy guy waving bazooka guy bazooka guy the bazooka actually comes out of his hand and fits in though I think it might actually be better if it was one piece it might be worth gluing or hot gluing into place in my opinion the Japanese soldiers are quite amazing lots of detail on them and this set originally came from a company called King and Country the vehicles were polystone material the figures were metal and hand painted and you know, this, this whole mountain piece existed, but it wasn't all plastic. And so BMC worked closely with King and Country to make this American Heroes Collector Series. And it's quite astounding. It really is. The stickers are quite nice as well. It should note that the stickers, there's something about the plastic surface of the vehicles. The stickers don't stick well. On the vehicles they work great on the playset but not on the vehicles both vehicles have this issue by the way you can buy these vehicles separately so if you just wanted the tank or just wanted a couple of these you can do that but one fix for the stickers would be to buy some matte clear nail polish and just kind of paint over the sticker because it's clear it would protect it make it hard and help keep it on We got a radio guy, we got a guy yelling orders. It, it, basically, we just have the whole taking of the mountain. You know, this is Mount Suribaki. We have our eight Marines taking it. And like I said, this set, the Marines should be this color. But my two year old niece got a hold of it and uh, broke the flag off. The flag comes in a specific little holder. You can see this right here. Whether you buy the, the medium set, which has the green soldiers, which is really nice, just as nice as, as this, you know, soldier-wise. It doesn't have the tank and the, you know, vehicles and the, the whole play set. But uh, same soldiers. Anyways, it comes in this, and this is kind of what you would want to keep it in if you're not playing with it. So to break this piece down a little bit more, it's got two little pegs that help it fit onto here. You can see they're melted in because with this type of plastic you pretty much have to melt stuff to make it work. You got several different poses. Most of these guys are, well each each soldier is separate from the other. And the flag is there. And it's a beautiful display pay, piece. It just looks absolutely great. 
but it is a little bit fragile. If you throw this in your toy box, you may end up breaking the flag. And it's not a, a design flaw or anything. This is really, I don't think you could design it better than it is. So my recommendation is, if you're going to keep it in your toy box, keep it inside this. Otherwise, keep it proudly displayed on a shelf. And as I said before, this should be this color. But uh, my niece got a hold of it. And so this one is substituting. So here we have our Marines laying claim to the mountain. Take a better look at uh, our vehicle, the Water Buffalo Amtrak LVT-2. Got several soldiers in there. The guns that can move. Pretty basic construction, and yet it's huge. It's absolutely huge. You know, we throw a Marine up next to it. This thing is absolutely ginormous. <laughs> and uh, sadly, in the Battle of Iwo Jima, they didn't get very far. The soft sand from volcanoes was pretty soft, so it really just dug in and got stuck. And this really represents that. There's a spot specifically for that vehicle to, to move in. You can see our soldiers just kind of working their way up the mountain, Japanese fighting to the death. That's what the Japanese did. There was 20, 22,000 Japanese soldiers committed to killing as many Marines as possible. 20,000 of them died, and about 200 were captured. The Marines lost 6,800 men, and about 20,000 were wounded in this battle. We bombed the, the snot out of them. <laughs> there goes one of our stickers. We bombed the snot out of them, but it didn't do any good because they had 11 miles of tunnels, buried bunkers, and things like that. Now here's our tank. It's hollow on the inside. It'd be kind of cool if this had some kind of opening somewhere so we could keep some soldiers inside it, since it is hollow. But uh, that's not... Just kind of, I always want tanks to hold soldiers. <laughs> I always wish that. And that's what this one does, so, you know gun turns. It, it's a great looking tank. Nicely detailed. Again, let's throw a soldier up next to it. You can see there's some huge size. Oftentimes, you buy army men sets and you get these teeny tiny little tanks. You know. So move forwards, looking at our bunker. Got two Japanese soldiers down in here. And I see a cave that goes, or a, you know, a dug hole that goes in further. This thing comes apart in layers. So we've got gunners hiding in these bunkers, little dugouts. This piece comes out and it, it can plug into these holes. See, nice hiding spots for these guys. They're coming out of the woodwork. <laughs> That's where the tank is ground into here as well. So we have our command center. There's different stickers and things in here, kind of adding detail to the set. It's quite unique as a piece. Uh, you don't get a lot of play sets with, with Army Men. And this play set has bunkers, actual bunkers, that are underground. And that's, that's so cool. And then you could take, you know, pieces like this. And set it wherever you want. You can turn this in different angles. You could, you can separate these two pieces. You know, so you can set up whatever kind of battlefield you want. And at this point, we've demolished the battlefield. <laughs> but as a set, like you can reset it up however you want. It's a lot of fun. It's enormous. And it's really, really cool. So, I do. I like it. I like it quite a bit. The, my favorite part is the whole play set. The, the bunkers and everything like that. Second favorite is, uh, is this. It just wants to sit on my display shelf a little bit high so the two-year-old can't reach it. <laughs> and uh, part of me wants to take the broken one and free their feet and see what kind of wounded soldiers I can have out of the 
the others, you know, if they look like guys been wounded or crawling or something like that. So if you did buy, you know, the big set and then the smaller set, if you it broke or something, then you could do that. The vehicles are incredibly cool. And like I said, you can buy the vehicles separately. You can also buy the smaller set that comes in this color. So lots of places or lots of variations of the set that you can get from BMC Toys. You can get the parts that you want. Well, if you're interested in this set, make sure to check out the link down below in the more info area. And I'll see you guys next time.